everybody. Here at Wayne County, um, Summer Nationals. Cars on loaded deck in the pits. It's about to get all that set up. And we have our merch booth set up here. We got a door, which I think might be sold. We got shirts, hoodies, stick, uh, buttons, stickers, hats. Okay. Caden Chase about to go get registered. Go back to the pit, show you the new body we got in our race car. I guess you guys won't be seeing this till later, but if you don't stop by this weekend, make sure you stop by the merch. Yeah. Let's go back with the transponder, Caden. I know, I, have, I know the number, 8705. I probably still want to see it. I would imagine. But yeah, we'll look at the car. We got a new body, new wrap. Like I said, Summer Nationals. Wayne County. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. The real star of the show here. Got new doors, quarters, sail panel, new wrap on it. She is looking really good. Looks really good. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Middleton for helping us with the body and the new wrap. And helping us get in here today. J&J uh, &J Transport, Tally's Bears, AccuForce, Orlo Napa, Smitley Towing, uh, Platinum Designs for getting us a wrap pretty quickly so we have it put on. Shout out our crew, Pat Paul, Dean, Chase, myself, uh, Jessica. She does our vlog. She records the races that you watch on these vlogs. She's also running the merch booth. Uh, she gets our lineups and everything. Sean, Tyler, Chuck, and Malcolm for when he was helping us out. Yeah, all of our our deck sponsors here that have helped us out. Everybody that makes this thing happen for us. But like I said, this week, big shout out to Middleton for what they did this week to help us. Should be an interesting night. There's a lot of late models here. Mod cars are still rolling in. I don't know about modifieds yet. There's a pretty decent count of them. So, yeah. Like I said, if you don't get any this week, make sure next week you get up to the merch booth. Get some stuff. Probably have it every week. You know, last week it was just me, Chase, and Sean, crew-wise. Tyler's here this week. Um, yeah. Get back with you when we get some more information on what we got to do. We were finding out. Chase and Caden are up there registering. Find out if we have pre-race tech or not. Um, and then we got to, we'll get our order of events and lineups and see what's going on. For now, it's just sit and wait. So, yeah. All right. Cars are fired. We got ours warmed up. There's 24 modifieds, 38 late models. Uh, we're in qualifying group three. So that should put us in heat race three, I believe. We're in the top five out of each one. Um, everyone else go to a B main, so we gotta get at least fifth in our heat. But first up's gonna be qualifying. There's no invert, it's all straight up. Okay, he's gotta lay down a good lap here. All our stickers on the car. Caden, lay down a good lap. Yeah. You ready? Oh, hell yeah. Job like you have been the last month. Smooth and smart. So yeah, we got qualifying coming up. Yeah, there it is.
racetrack, Caden Alexander from right here in Orville, Ohio, at his home track, the Middleton j, &J Transport, Orlo Napa, Pierce Platinum, Mike Colts Engine, Caden Alexander in car 16. Working his way through three and four, there's the 69, Ryan Roby from Martins Ferry, Ohio, the Hanover Fuel Style. Roby's on the detail and Joe Steiner. Crip tonight, performance off-road, Ryan Roby in 69. First session for the third and final Dirt Car Modified Qualifying Group. In the 10, Loney trying to join those two. As is Keaton Alexander in the 16 and everybody else here in group three. Again, four on here. They'll bring on another four for session two. So far, nobody able to improve their time on the second lap. Lone Miller, Alexander Roby, the order they qualified in. Alexander's going to get up to second quick, 19.253, his second lap. So we qualified fifth in our group. Caden ran a 19-2, which is his best lap compared to previously a 19-8. We start fifth in heat three, top five transfer. Let's go to a B main, leader gets a redraw. Sorry, I haven't videoed much. It's been kind of trying to figure stuff out here. Yeah. Um, yeah, Caden's ready. He's focused. Ran a good call, fine laps there. So, yeah, top five transfer. Starting fifth. Can't lose a spot. So, here we go. Great. Chase? Yep. I think so. Been 
interesting to see what happens here. Like I just said, top five transfer, we start fifth. Just hold one position or gain some. Nathan Lodi was ready in second in his race for the race. He was back in the first half of the race ball. Nathan Lodi was
field on the racetrack. Looks like we're gonna have seven for this one. Eight laps, top three, go to tonight's modified feature. Green flag in the air, side by side at the front of the field already. Jacob Myers did not make the call. Problems, that is Jacob Myers in the 69 and Both Myers are indeed out there. When the yellow comes out, we see debris off of turn two in our car facing the court field. Off of turn two, the 16 of Caden Alexander. Here's a look at the Dirt Vision replay. Myers in the 69M gets together maybe with Miller. He moves up the track off the berm on the cushion out of turn two. And then nowhere for Alexander to go. Got into him and then got sideways. Thanks to Dirt Vision for the replay. The tire has come off of the wheel on the 16 of Keaton Alexander, so he is going to need the hook to get him towed back. All right, so you just saw the B main result. We're back at the shop here. This side of the car looks great. Um, come around to this side, it's missing a few things. I mean, the quarter panel and the sail panel are fine. Good weight spade. It, I yeah, so, right there's the door. Yeah, door missing. And it ripped the door bar bracket off. Yeah, there's the door. So we couldn't tell from the video, the 69. I'm good. Yeah. The 69 lost it in front right. of us, caught our door bar, ripped it back, ripped our floor bar bracket off. So, so yeah, when he got the nose a little bit, going up the hill. So, other than that, thought Caden did a good job all night. I mean. I think he was going to pass the whole pack. I, I think he, he had to be main. I was going to split him off. He had, you're going to split him? So I said split then. Oh, I, 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 I swear you said slid. Okay, let's not get banned on YouTube. Yeah, and we um we may have got, you know, these guys, I won't say their names, but they hit the wall, spin out, every goddamn week, every lap, get kicked out. Dang week. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and it's so annoying. So we went down to have a conversation, and then these people on freaking, on the Dirt Car Series, they went down there and whined about it. Like, little babies people <laughs> <laughs> thanks for keeping it friendly and, uh, so they whined about a 16 year old kid coming down there went and told dirt car all he did was go down to try and just talk yeah and you know what the guy did apologize but i mean it's when you're wrecking every week like i think i would try maybe pick up something other hobby like pick another hobby up. like fishing or golf anything just get the hell out of wayne county please he'll be like Oh, shit. So, yeah, Dirt Car had a pretty strict rule tonight that don't go to someone else's pit, even if it's just to talk to them. So. We literally got kicked out. We got DQ'd from the night. Not We're not banned from Wayne County, but they, the Dirt Car said we're done. But those people lied to Dirt Car. Yeah. They Flat said, out we, lied. They said we hit them. Or we, yeah, they said we fought them, and they said that we... Uh, what else did they say? That we were going to go mess with their stuff. Yeah, that we were going to go yeah, mess with their stuff. I don't, I'm not going to mess with their stuff. What the heck do I want their junk? For? Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then they poked Morgan when she had the baby. Yeah. yeah. That right there. I right. wish she wouldn't. I wish. Yeah. But hey, I got. I'm, I'm going to be able to come up with a really nice piece of clickbait for this one. Yes. You should see the GoPro video. <laughs> oh, the GoPro. Wait for the GoPro because that's going to show everything. This guy. Well, at this shooting. point, they already saw the GoPro. Yeah. Well, they seen it on Dirt Vision if they were watching it, but yeah. He literally went. He, Caden said he went. He started pull. He started pull. He said he went, he went from, from the bottom to the top. Hit bounced off the wall and then down into Caden. He could have stayed at the top, or if he broke, he could have went stayed at the bottom. Went to the infield. Yeah, like you don't change your lane line. on yeah. the first corner. No. And I mean, starting pole. I mean, you could tell those guys. They have no idea what they're doing. Like, honestly, I wish I wish someone would help them out with setup. Because they... the one to buy the car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll sell it to you now. Same price. Yeah. You guys. Okay, I'll be nice and I won't say their names, but. No, I'm not going to say their names. You guys want to buy a car? Watch Dirt Vision. I 
Yeah, watch the watch the replay. You you well, you already saw the replay on the video, so you already know who did it to us. It it was frustrating because you know you put all this time and money in the stuff, and then you got some guy that wrecks constantly every corner, and and they have nothing but junk at every track they go to. Yeah, that was bad, Muskingum. Dude, Muskingum was terrible. Oh, the people behind us were yelling to get him off the racetrack. The thing is, I understand. I mean, you got to learn somehow, I guess. He's That's not like, learning. Caden yeah, used to spin out every race. He, goes he quit doing it. They should go to three stuff. Honestly, yeah. think about it. My, I'll put that out. He spins out every single race. Caden used to, too. Yeah. And now he don't. Yeah. You know, you're not improving. The car that made the show, that low one. Right. Yeah, that little 36. I don't know how he did. He get the provisional? He got no, black flag in the heat. Oh, yeah, so they let all the locals in pretty much. Yeah, because a lot of the guys, you know, them guys when in that series had to realize, like, even the late models, local guy won, local guy won the mods. Yep, and you our know locals what? aren't slouches. I've been watching all their races, and none of them have been local guys from them tracks. Wayne County locals are not slouches. Yep, they are fast. I agree. I agree with Jason. You know, yeah. if you can master a Wayne County, yeah. you're good. Yeah, Cause it's a tough track. It really is. <laughs> and Caden went down there. All, you know what? That guy was scared. I'm tired. <laughs> Are you? I'm hungry. But yeah. yeah, night didn't go quite our way. But you know, it's racing. You up. have it, Caden. We're all right there watching. Close it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Some subscribe. Are you sleeping? Deuces. <laughs>